abdominal exam, okay? Basically, your patient would be lying down, okay? So, when, what do you want to do to make sure that the patient's abdomen is uh, not stressed? Bend his, Bend, his Bend his knees. So, inspect the abdomen. Basically, you uh, look at the abdomen. What's different with the abdomen? As far as sequence of your uh, oh, 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 how so, patients last. After you look, auscultate. Yeah. You auscultate. So the most part, up. your patient's not going to have any abdominal pain. So you listen in all four different quadrants. Okay. After after you finish listening, gently palpate. Okay. And after um, gently palpation, you do deep palpation. Okay. Oh, we don't have to auscultate. Auscultate. Or, 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 or no, percuss. My bad. Percuss. My bad. You're supposed to percuss before palpation, right? Yeah. Yeah, percuss. So, you percuss, the, you percuss the, abdomen, the liver span. Check for the liver span. And the spleen. The spleen the yeah. the shifting the dullness. Yeah, spleen. You have to feel for the organs? Like that? The only one you can fill is the liver. Yeah, you have to get okay. the liver edge. So you, per you percuss for the liver span, and then the last thing you do is you check for any what? Kidney. Uh, UTIs. There's any inflammation. Yeah, but normally you don't feel it though. Do you want us to determine the span of the kidney? No. For the most part, the liver is the only thing you can normally feel. I'm not kidding. Normally not feel. <laughs> Sorry. That's what I meant. Okay. So, yeah. Don't worry about checking for shifting dullness. That's one of the more... Uh, the last thing we're going to ask you to do is to do two maneuvers. Okay? What maneuvers are they? Uh, left or right leg? Right, right leg, leg. Right, right leg. That's to check for appendicitis. Okay, so. <laughs> appendicitis. It's the obturator, and I forgot the other test. What's it? Iliosolin. Iliosolin, yeah. So you do an iliosolus maneuver. Just basically take the knee, right? Or just push, push it down. down. Have the patient try to lift the knee at the same time. Okay, go ahead and lift your knee. Okay. And then obturator sign. Just basically bring the leg in. You're yeah. doing uh, external rotation, rotation of the obturator. Okay, and then just pretty much uh, document. <laughs> and how do you document? Alvin, how old are you? 20-year-old Filipino male here for abdom uh, chest and abdominal exam. Um, long yeah. <laughs> so look, uh, th uh, thoracic cage is symmetrical, no discolorations. Uh, uh, normal to palpation, uh, no fremitus, uh, no change in fremitus detected in either lung fields. Respirations are 12 or 50, whatever, 18 per minute. Lung sounds are clear to auscultation. Okay. Uh, abdomen is uh, symmetric. Contour, sorry, contour is flat. Uh, bowel sounds are normal. Um, are liver span. Are uh, Huh? Are beer bins protruding? Brown bins. Brown bins. Okay. For the most part, you'll be using rounded or flat. Uh, maybe scaphoid for a few, but that's about it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so assessment, assessment would be uh, normal thorax and abdominal exam. Okay. Again, you guys, you'll run into problems if you try to get everything under the sun. We're just looking for growth performance standards. Okay. Do we like tell you what we're assessing for? That that is the best way to uh, to pass this exam because that way we know what we know exactly what you're thinking. So voice it out while you while you say it. Okay. So that's the thorax and lung exam and abdomen. Yeah. I mean, yeah.